driving by Pasi Karhalanyan from Finland, and it's titled Tides, Acute Coronary Syndrome Trial. Tides is a chronic that is comparison of titanium nitric oxide coated bioactive stem to the drug uh, Verolimus uh, leading stem in acute coronary syndrome. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will talk about TIDES ACS trial today or tonight. Uh, probably we all know what is titan stent, but uh, briefly, uh, there is a lot of data demonstrating that this uh, titanium nitric oxide co coating uh, uh, inhibits the uh, platelet aggregation, minimizes vitrine growth, and, and thrombus formation at the side of the uh, stent. So, basically, this uh, promotes endothelial healing. Uh, previously, uh, in, in Titaxami trial, uh, we demonstrated that Titan is actually superior over Taxus stent in uh, five years of follow-up. And uh, later, in the base ACS trial, uh, Titan was compared against Science V, and this is uh, one year follow-up results. And the MACE is comparable with these two devices. Uh, here we can see uh, late follow-up. This is four years of follow-up. And, and we can see that the uh, maze and component of maze are lower in the titan stent arm. This is a very late follow-up, and what is interesting to see here is that uh, if you look at the landmark al analysis, after one year, the curves are, are separated in favor of uh, titan stent. Now we have a new, new device, uh, titan Optimax. What is the difference? This is a cobalt chromium platform. Uh, versus stainless steel stent platform. So now the stent strut is thinner. And also the coating, titanium nitrate oxide coating is much more thicker. So maybe there is a better uh, re-endothelialization with this device compared to Titan II stent. First study uh, with uh, Titan Optimax was conducted in Aalst and in Finland. So this was OCT study. We, have, we had two arms. Uh, study A, uh, Optimax versus Syner Synergy, and one month OCT follow-up, and study B, six months of follow-up, and all of these patients were ACS patients. This is a one month results. Of course, uh, at one month, uh, with the drug loading device, the, the uncovered struts percentage is quite high. Uh, some OCT images on the left, uh, Optimax, Titan Optimax, and on, on the right, Synergy EES. Uh, nicely healed on the left, and some uncovered struts on the uh, right with the Synergy device. To get some perspective, this is uh, some study. One study presented in TCT, Synergy against Resolute. This is OCT study, three months follow-up. And here we can see that uh, after three months, uh, still 27 versus 26 uh, percent of struts are uncovered with these two devices. What about six months? Uh, Titan Optimax, very nicely healed, a Synergy EES. Still 15% of struts were uncovered in ACS uh, population. This is just uh, one example of six months follow-up study. Uh, Angio doesn't look that nice. If you look at the OCT, there is this flower shape what we have seen earlier with the cypher stent, for instance. So there must be some kind of inflammation at the side of the stent implantation. So what about tights ACS? Uh, this is uh, once again ACS trial. We compared Titan Optimax against Synergy. Uh, two to one randomization. Uh, uh, primary endpoint, typical maze, cardiac death, MI, and target lesion revascularization. This trial was actually presented in ESC this year as a late-breaking trial. This is uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria. Typical inclusion, non ST elevation MI, ST elevation M MI, and also unstable angina. The major ex exclusion criteria included uh, stent length needed beyond 28 millimeters. These are the clinical sites, uh, 12 uh, site, uh, centers. 
uh, the biggest center was in the Netherlands, Eindhoven, second biggest also in the Neder Netherlands, Nuvergein. This is uh, baseline characteristics, uh, quite typical. Diabetes was present in 14 and 13% uh, of cases. What is interesting to see that the STEMI was uh, present almost half of the patients. Uh, procedural data, here we can see that the mean stent, nominal stent diameter was 3.22 versus 3.19, total stent length uh, 20.5 versus 20.6. Here we can see MACE after one year of follow-up, and here we can see that uh, there were no difference with these two devices after uh, one year of follow-up. What is interesting to see is that the rate of MACE is quite low in uh, ACS patients in this study. So the primary non-inferiority endpoint was clearly met. This is uh, maize and uh, components of maize. And here we can see that if you look at the heart endpoints, cardiac death and myocardial infarction, the, uh, in the Optimax arm, these numbers were significantly lower compared to drug eluting stent arm. Also, if you look at the target lesion revascularization, uh, the rate tend to be higher with the op Optimax bioactive stent, but the uh, p-value was uh, 0.09. Other events after one year of follow-up, definite stent thrombosis one versus two percent. And if we combine definite stent thrombosis and probable stent thrombosis, uh, the difference with these two devices, I mean the significance is uh, p-value is 0.01. What about subgroups? If we look up, look up uh, uh, older people, there was a trend towards uh, a better outcome in uh, titan stent arm. Also, if we take diabetes, uh, the, the maze was a little bit lower, but the p-value was 0.2. And if, if we look at uh, STEMI patients, once again, the, the Maze was a little bit lower with the tight and stent arm. So this is conclusions from the TITES ACS trial. This was also presented in uh, TCT this year. So clearly non-inferiority was met. And if, you, if we look at the hard endpoints, uh, they were a little bit higher in the synergy stent arm. So what about the evidence? Uh, during the years, we have a lot of trials and studies and publications, so, so nowadays there is more than 50 articles uh, uh, about uh, titanium lipid oxide coated bioactive stent if we take PubMed search. So, thank you for your attention.